welcome to Diaries TV episode number one. We're going to start off with a kicker, Oprah Winfrey. All right, everybody knows her, everybody's heard about her. The latest, Oprah has been telling millions of people, I think this is about two or three days ago, how to get healthy and get fit. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to start teaching professional basketball players how to slam dunk at all five foot seven. You've got to be kidding me. Oprah Winfrey telling us how to get healthy and fit. Oprah, stop talking and start listening. You're a fabulous person. You've done so much for the world. Personally, you've done so much for me. I find myself um, doing great things for people. If they drop something, I pick it up. I like holding doors. I like helping, motivating, because when you give, good things come back. But you should not be talking about health and fitness. If you've heard the latest thing she had a show the other day, she's going to start doing a bodybuilder's workout because of her trainer, Bob Green. Now he's doing really well financially because of Oprah, but he just put millions of people 20 years behind. He just hurt the health and fitness industry because the millions of people that were watching are gonna listen because Oprah said so, because Bob Green said so. Now she's gonna be at six days a week doing a bodybuilder's workout, minus the cardio. Chest and tricep on one day. Back, bicep, and shoulders, I believe, on another day. And then one day, it's just all legs. All legs. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous because it's not the right way to do it anymore. It's 20 years ago. Bob Green, out. Oprah, you got to get somebody else. You got to start listening. Sit there. Don't be standing up on stage telling us what we need to do, what our cardiovascular rate should be, how we should prepare food. Please, again, you're a fabulous person. Don't be giving us this advice. Let somebody else give it to you, but not Bob Green. Bob Green, you need to sit there. Find out what us fitness professionals have been doing for the last few years, what is actually working. Higher intensity at everybody's own fitness level. Less work, still incorporate that resistance training. Kudos for the resistance training that builds muscle, increases metabolism, and burns fat and calories at rest. Perfect, but not the Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilders diet, uh, sorry, workout. That's crazy. The goal the other day that you were talking about on TV was to give yourself time, and that you should, and all the women out there should be giving themselves time. And I say women because mostly women watch Oprah. I say women because, sadly to say, you will give most of your time to your family and friends and not you. And it's impossible to do that on this plan. It's impossible. It's almost an hour, hour and a half a day, six days a week. Forget it. Don't listen to this. Spread this video around. Tell all your friends not to listen to it. That's ridiculous because you know why? There's a lot of things. It's not telling you the truth. It's, it's, it's setting us back 20 years. It's making my job harder. It's making all my fitness professional friends' job harder, jobs harder because now you're going to be coming to us wanting this workout. That's crazy. It doesn't work. The other thing that frustrated me, and I'll make this as quick as possible, this is what Oprah said. I am going to focus more on resistance training this year. Why just this year? Focus on a health and lifestyle change forever. You won't be in this predicament. Obviously, we all have the mental problems we have to get through. Oprah is well aware of that. She confesses to that. Her problem is she doesn't give herself time. Maybe it's emotional eating, which I believe. Um, but don't just do it this year. Don't make these things a fad. A lifestyle change is your life. Keep with it. You did the vegan diet for 30 days. What is 30 days going to do? You got to stick with something. Please, everybody, watch the videos below. I'm going to throw some videos on down there that people from all over the world are doing. They're free. They're on YouTube. You do them a couple days a week. Say you do them two days in a row. Take one day off. 
do them two more days or one more day. Take a couple days off. Enjoy it. Enjoy your health and fitness. They're higher intensity at your own level. With Cardiovascular Incorporated, that's the way to work out. There's four minute workout, five minute workout, 10 minute workouts out there. That's the way to work out. Not chest and tricep on one day. Forget about it, please. Take that TV show, delete it from your computer, forget about it, forget you ever watched it, unless the only reason I want you to remember to watch, that you watched it is that it's wrong. Oprah is absolutely wrong on that show. That is not the way to train, I'm sorry. I've talked to many of my friends in the last couple days and they agree, it is ridiculous. Bob Green, come on. I think it's about time you pack it in, if you believe this. You're hurting us with that one thing. Please, don't be promoting that type of training. And you that's listening, thank you for being here. Episode 1, Barry's TV. Never know what's going to happen. Rant, motivation, just talk, core exercise, health and fitness tip. Thank you. Till next time, we'll see you then.